What's up everybody? So in this video, we're going to be talking about everything that you need to know about protein. So let's just get started. Okay, so let's let's again start with our guy here, our, our human, our living organism, Ronaldo. We know, what is he made of again? He's made up of billions and billions of these things called cells, right? Now, okay, great. But if I, if I take it one step further and I ask you, okay, he's made up of cells, that's great. Um, but what are cells made of? Well, the answer to that is these four macromolecules, these four big macromolecules, okay? So they include lipids, proteins, carbohydrates, nucleic acids. These four things make up our cells. And not only do they make up the structure of our cells, they also have other functions depending on which one we consider, right? So lipids will keep you warm and have other functions. Car proteins will have a lot of specific, they're like little tools that, are, that can do a lot of things. Carbohydrates are great for energy, right? Our nucleic acids is, is our code, our, our instruction manual. So not only do they make up the structure of our cell, they also have specific functions depending which one we look at, right? And don't worry, I have a video on every single one of these. So I have a video on lipids, a video on carbohydrates, and a video on nucleic acids, and now we're making this, this last one on protein, okay? So most, most of the time, when I ask somebody, what do you think protein is? Then they think, ah, oh, okay, protein is the thing we need to eat so that we can build muscle and be strong, okay? M most guys, at least, like to say that, right? The, if, if they're trying to build muscle, they're going to eat more eggs, more, more meat for more protein so they can be bigger, right? That's true. So that is one of the things that proteins are for, but you need to understand that that is just one of the things. There are thousands of other key things that proteins do that are actually even more important than that. Without these functions, you might you you will die. You'll certainly die. Okay, so let's let's now start going into more detail here. So one key thing I need you to understand is that proteins are not um, proteins are very dependent on your DNA. Okay, so pr these two kind of work together a little bit. Let me show you the nucleic acids or your DNA works together with your protein. Let me let, let me let me show you what I mean. So. Your DNA, right, is located where inside your cell? It's located in this little organelle called the nucleus, right? The nucleus. Now, we know our DNA is our instruction manual. It codes for stuff. It's like, um, it's like an instruction manual that's going to make your cell, your cell will read this instruction manual. It will read your DNA and build what it says. Now, what is that thing that it's going to build? Like, when your cells read this DNA and builds what it's asking for, what is it building? It's building a protein, right? It's that simple. So that's what I mean by our DNA is, connect, is, is closely related to our proteins. So our proteins is coded for by our DNA, okay? And there's going to be a whole other video um, that will explain to you how exactly this happens, how your body reads the DNA, and how the proteins are made from your DNA, okay? From, there's a whole video on that. So now just know that your proteins are closely connected to your DNA in the sense that your DNA codes for your proteins. Okay, the instructions are here, and this is the final product, right? This is the final thing we're making. Now, remember, your ribosomes are very involved in that. So your ribosomes are these little organelles, these little dots here, right? They are involved in uh, reading your DNA and building this protein, right? Just, just know that for now. Now, there are so many kinds of proteins. Let me give you a few here that you need to know about. There are so many kinds, and... The, um, these, they will differ based on their structure. So a different part of the DNA will code for a different protein. Say one part will code for this protein, another part will code for this protein, and they, these proteins will all be a little bit different, right? They'll, they'll be made up of a different sequence of these little building blocks, and they'll look a bit different, okay? But the point is you have so many kinds of proteins, okay? Now, I like to think of proteins a little bit like this. They, they're like Bob the Builder, right? They're like a little tool. They, they help to go and do things in your body. They're very functional. They make things happen in your body. They have a, they're like a little tool. They're like Bob the Builder. They have something to do and they're going to do it, right? Okay, great. So just know from this slide that DNA codes for our proteins. And we have all of these kinds. We're gonna look, and we're going to look now at these because you need to know these, okay? There are a few examples of proteins um, that you need to know about. So let's take a look at them here. So let's look at them one by one. I'm going to try and make this as simple and clear as possible. So let's look at the first one, hemoglobin. So this is a protein, okay? And this protein is inside your red blood cells, okay? It's inside your red blood cells, 
and it's responsible for carrying oxygen. So without hemoglobin, you cannot carry oxygen. And there are certain diseases that have this problem, okay? So just know hemoglobin is a protein that's carrying your oxygen. Next one, insulin. Okay, um, diabetic people would be very aware of insulin. So insulin is a little protein, once again, that is produced by an organ in your body called the pancreas. It's in your uh, abdomen area. It's in your, st uh, in your belly area somewhere. And this protein is supposed to lower your blood glucose level. So a normal person, so let me show you. So a normal person is supposed to lower your, this is glucose, it's supposed to lower your blood glucose. So a normal person, like, I don't know if you um, have diabetes or not, but if you don't, then um, what will happen is when you eat a big fat cake, right, this cake will be absorbed. For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.